Okay, so we're here again with uh, Inter Internet Authority, uh, Jerry Ward, by us three training. <laughs> Damn right, Authority. Okay, so uh, Jerry, uh, today let's talk about the, I want to say the uh, dangers of soy protein or the disadvantage of using a, a products derived from soy and how um, they're inferior to animal proteins. Well, you know, they've done studies, whether or not these studies work on athletes too, because they have not done studies on athletes, but they came to the conclusion that soy protein increased natural estrogen because it has natural estrogen in it, which is the opposite of what you would want if you're an athlete. If your estrogen is higher than your testosterone, you're going to recover slower, you'd be more prone to injury, etc. Uh, it could make you less aggressive, but then again, there's a guy who used to wrestle in the WWE who was one big, massive, ripped dude with an attitude named Batista that only drinks soy. So, you know, is it really a danger? Uh, does it affect some people more than others? That is probably where I'd go and say it affects some people more than others like that. Like maybe it doesn't affect him at all estrogen wise, but if I took it all of a sudden, next thing you know, I'd be crying at commercials and you know, having issues. <laughs> but, but, but there, there is empirical evidence that uh, it Definitely. can promote estrogen. Uh, there is. There's yeah. been more than one study that showed it. And it also, it's an it's a incomplete protein. It's a plant protein. And a lot of people say, well, it doesn't really matter. Well, have you ever seen the muscle mass on a lot of, a lot of vegetarians? You know, vegetarian athletes in general have um, a lot more issues recovering and a lot more prone to injury because they don't have those animal-based products with amino acids in them. They have a, um, a Gemma P protein, which is close to whey which is supposed to be the biggest thing going around because it's so close to the way. They have a rice protein, they have a hemp protein. I mean, the tofu, you know, you can eat, has protein in it. But the thing is, is you're not gonna get the proper amino acids in the profile that you need to build muscle, maintain strength, recover. And, you know, I actually worked with a guy who was, he was a runner, he was into marathons and stuff. And he kept getting these injuries over and over again. He was a vegetarian. And I'm not sure if it was like how long he was a vegetarian for, but it had been a while before I started working with him. And I started doing the diet. We worked with another coach who's into uh, working with Olympic athletes and collegiate athletes, et cetera. So we were working with this guy and he kept getting these injuries. So the track coach flat out said, you know, you're doing the vegetarian thing. It's not working. He came to me and I said, let's try the Gemma P protein. You know, swap out the soy. Let's try this and see how this works. Before he'd even gotten a chance to do it, he got another injury and wanted to go into the doctor. When he got to the doctor, the doctor told him straight out, this is what's happening. You're getting injured because you do not have the nutrients that are going in food-wise that you need to recover. Not just the proteins, but in general, the micro and macronutrients together to recover. You need those things. We are animals. We need them, and you're not going to get them from all the plant sources. So even the doctor was like, listen, you know, chill on the vegetarian thing, which most doctors are like, you know what, you know, eat less meat or whatever. And he went back to eating meat. Lo and behold, his body started recovering, and he didn't get the injuries anymore. Yeah, I also uh, read in... Um I believe I took some uh, nutrition classes and uh, it stated that uh, vegetarians have to take the additional amino acid uh, uh, supplement, right, because their their protein is incomplete. We've heard of like the whole rice and beans, it's like a big joke, rice and beans, rice and beans. Well, beans actually have the amino acids that complete rice. So when you take them together, you actually complete the meal by having the beans and rice. Is it still the same thing as the um, eating meat? No, because the micronutrients are different. So it's not just about the macronutrients, which are the proteins and the carbs and fats that are in the foods. It's the micronutrients of certain amounts, too. Right, so uh, if you had to pick one animal protein, which one would it be? Uh, probably red meat? It would be beef. Absolutely beef. Beef, amino acid profile ratio-wise, is the closest thing to human muscle tissue that we have. So now the body, it doesn't like to do things that you force it to do. It basically wants to survive, and that's it. So what it's going to do is do the easiest thing that it can. So basically, your body's going to burn sugar until it, it runs out of sugar, has to find another energy source. But if you have carbohydrates available, it's going to burn carbs over fat. So if you're shoving 500 grams of carbs in your body, you know, your body's going to use those carbs. It's the same thing with proteins, too. So if your body needs to build muscle tissue, if the amino acids that you're taking in are already in the right ratios, and it, or is, is as close as you can possibly get, it's going to be a lot easier for your body to take those amino acids and build muscle tissue than it would be if they took beans and rice and tuna and chicken and this and that and then reformulated them all into the right amino acid profile to make a gram of muscle and then build a muscle tissue. Uh, so uh, you talked about tuna. Um, how about the mercury content in tuna versus uh, light or albacore or whatever? You know, they shoot you up with mercury in the flu shot. So you should you be worried about a can of tuna? 
not as far as I'm concerned. I had one guy, and a lot of what I speak from is experience. It's not these studies, because a lot of studies can be misinterpreted or interpreted in certain ways where it's saying, if you have two bites of tuna, you're going to drop that of mercury poisoning and you're glow in the dark. You know, I had a guy, that ate, <laughs> a guy that ate six to seven cans of tuna a day. He was buying those big coffee can size, like industrial tuna cans at Costco because he was getting ready for competition and cooking was too much for him to deal with. He's like, I don't want to cook. It's easier just to do tuna. And he was like, I'm just going to do it like that. So, you know, that, that's your choice. Uh, so these same people who think uh, eating uh, more than one egg a day is, is bad for you. Why would it be bad for you? What, where, where did that come from? Like, what study said? Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, I was just extending the analogy of, of right. how, oh, yeah, how, how tuna, like you know, tuna is bad for you. Eating uh, more more than one egg yolk is bad for you. Blah 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 blah. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of people. And they throw the yolks out. It's like the most nutrient dense part of the egg. They throw it out. They're scared of it. They're like, oh my god, cholesterol. Oh my god, this. Oh my god, that. Right, right. And also, also the egg, uh, the egg yolk itself uh, has has protein uh, of the egg. So I mean, the the egg white is pure protein, but right. but it uh, it doesn't contain all the protein of the egg. Right. So if you got, you know, let's say an egg has six grams of protein in it, you crack it and throw the yolk away, you're not getting four. So you're shorting yourself, you know, protein by throwing the yolk away. And some people don't even know that. They think all they're doing is throwing the fat out. Right. Well, all the nutrients are inside there. Like all the micronutrients are in there, all the vitamins and minerals and things you need, enzyme inside the yolk that you're throwing out. Right, right. Okay, so, uh, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks to Jerry Ward, Internet Authority. Buy us three training, subscribe to him, and we're out.